and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Today we're going to look at two different people and some of the tweets that they've sent. One is from someone who likes getting high and literally trying to be funny when she actually has some attention in the room but absolutely fails at trying to be a comedian, especially when someone comes out later on and says that they actually wrote jokes for her. Well, even that person is not exactly funny, and he's on a, uh, he's a bit of a downward spiral himself. And the other one is from someone who has taken a big hit to her ego because someone rejected her. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna kick off with this. Is this something to be bragging about to everybody? Hey, I'm a mom, but I spend all my kitchen time stoned making edibles. These idiots are so out of touch. Meanwhile, Marky still broken up over V totally rejecting her. Just hearing that word about her is just amazing. Rejecting. Rejecting. And so, obviously, we're going to have Amanda win Lee first. When other moms spend the day in the kitchen, they emerge with gorgeous roasts and delectable cakes. My day in the kitchen is going to be spent making this lotion for sore muscles and hash brownies. Well, for that, we're going to have a quick chat. Now, I know it's legal in quite a few states in America, but I'm pretty sure if she gives them to anyone else, is that against the law? No, I'm pretty sure that is, isn't it? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, if that is illegal, and that is exactly what she's doing to people, she can get done for drugging people without telling them. Well, even if she tells them and they still eat them, that's still against the law because, again, you're giving someone a substance that that person may not be allowed to have. Again, over here, obviously, you know, it is, it's a little bit different over in the UK for the way that this is allowed. You can get certain things on the health, on the health board and everything else, but you can't just go to a shop and buy it. But I know in the States there are certain shops where if you produce a medical card, I believe. If not, let me know below where you can go in and you can buy some. But if she gives that to someone who hasn't got one of those cards or anything, I'm pretty sure... Is that illegal? Has to be. But yeah, so that's what she's like putting out there on Twitter. She likes going out of her way and telling people that this is what she does. And she's not like any other mom. Is she trying to, like, try and get, I don't know, trying to be like the cool mom or something? It's, there's just something about it which, I don't know, I just, whenever I've seen her in the past year or so, I've never liked the way she's uh, gone about things either. You know, the way she talks about things and the way she looks when she's saying certain things. Perfect example is that comedy roast the other week she did. Well, not the roast, where she just stood at a podium, said horrible things about VM to a small room where people actually left. I believe like three quarters of the room actually left when she started. And she was just there. She was, I don't know, it was just, just the way she looked. She looked a little bit out of her mind. She was there, she was wide-eyed. She was like, yes, go! And it's like... Oh my god, is she taking something? Because the way she was acting, it just made a lot of people uncomfortable. You can see that in the reactions. Especially the people up behind her on the actual convention, on the panel. They were there like, oh my god. Some of them were laughing, some of them weren't. But when she was there, she just looked wide-eyed and she was like, oh, what are we going to do, guys? Yeah, FM! And you could just see people like... Okay, and like I said, a lot of people left. But with her putting this tweet out, she's put out tons of in the past, and she's even got a YouTube channel where she talks about it as well, which is kind of like, right, okay, that's fair enough. But if you're intentionally getting people high without them knowing, or even giving it to people who aren't allowed it, depending on age or whatever, then there's something wrong with you. And we do think that she has a bit of a screw loose. Next, we're going to move on to Jamie Markey. So, VM done a live stream last week on Unlocked, where it was only about 13 minutes long, but he talked about quite a few things, and he actually got quite a few things off his chest. It was nice to see him to actually be there and be like, yeah, these people are not my friends, they've done this to me, they've done that. And he actually addressed certain issues, 
which is very nice to see. Because a lot of us have thought, in the last year, he's kind of been a little bit too nice to people. He's been a little bit too, you know, cautious of things, what to say to people. And even in the live streams, you know, he was like, don't do anything horrible. Just go and spread joy. Do this, do that. Just be nice. Spread kindness. Don't go and do that. But this week, well, last week, it was actually nice to see him go out there and be like, yeah, these people, they destroyed me. I thought they were my friends. Sean Chamel, we know, well, he's always been, he's always been dishonest and uh, horrible towards me. And he even showed me and told me why. And that's where we found out that Sean Chamel does not like VM because of his Christian faith. That there, it just blows my mind because what's it to do with you about someone's faith? If they're not hurting you or harming you or talking to you about it or trying to get you to convert to whatever, just let them be, you know? But again, that's Sean Chamel. We know what he's like. We've seen what he's done. He's not exactly a fan favourite at the moment. Well, he hasn't really been a fan favourite. But things he's uh, come out with, you know, again, the Funimation leaks. But then you also had Jamie Markey, who in convention videos that we've seen from the last probably the last five to ten years, we've seen Jimmy Markey sit on the panel next to VM and she's all over him. You can see she's there, arm round him, leaning her head, stroking his arm, doing everything. And we've even got VM stating a week before everything happened, she was calling VM babes. She was calling him hun, calling him everything. But then all of a sudden, a week later, she is blasting him to hell. And it's like, wow, okay. You can see why he kind of got upset. And it's taken a year, basically, for him to actually come out and say these things. And the greatest one was is when he actually came out and said, I never fancied Jamie Markey in that way. He never wanted her. Even though she came on to him and, she, and he was like, no. He rejected her. He didn't want her like that. They were just friends. And she's taken it, she's taken it quite to heart and it's absolutely brilliant to see because this actually shows that the people who are doing this, they are actually now being like, oh my God, he's actually saying things about us now, which is great because tons of people are like, come on, dude, just say what you really want to say, say what you feel. And she's just gone on Twitter, whenever anyone brings up his name now, she just either comes back, she tries to be sarcastic and witty, it just turns out to be flat on the face, and we're going to look at some things now. So, again, we don't know what the tweet was, but someone said something to her, and I assume it had VM's name in it, because she's like, who dat? And then someone, another white knight in tinfoil, has come out and said, some fragile white dude. Again, this is coming from a white dude. And then Jamie Markey again, apparently. And it just carried on. Someone went to her, which I think is actually quite good. Savannah, lying about V and was proven a liar in court. Effort, lol. And she's like the owl, who? Which again, it's like, come on, you know, someone said something to you and now you've got your knickers and your twist because he rejected you. And people know this now. And you're like, oh my God, people know that he didn't want to be with me. Am I really that horrible to be with? And then they it just carried on, which I thought was great. You know, the second, again, thing is with this part here, they did say trail, so I can see why she come back with that because read through your tweets, man. Read, read through them, come on, dude. You know the second trail is still going, right? He was the only dub actor that was worth it, and a handful of evil people decide to team up to take action against him with loose accusations that still haven't been proven true in any aspect. Which again, we've all seen this now because people are coming out of the woodwork and saying, well, I've seen him so many times. I worked here, I worked there. He was nice to everyone. I didn't see anything. You even got Emmett Initiative, who wrote an open letter, basically trying to grovel towards him. And again, people are like, nah, mate, ain't having that. It's just fun to see. And with that, she went out trail and who? You know, again, she, she literally is turning into the owl of Twitter. And that's really funny to see. But in the, at the end of the day, it's been over a year now, and there's still no evidence. 
you know, people have been saying there's photos, there's videos, and there's like a hundred or thousands of women who still haven't come forward to, uh, you know, to actually help Ron Toye and Monica and all them. This is coming from them actually as well. Ron Toye said he had hundreds of women, what was it, hundreds plus, who was going to come forward and they were going to help them take him down. Well, where are all these people? I am going to end the video here because we have rambled on for quite a bit and if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.